sort of series the higher is basically a concept about um, there is a guy who um, is a hired hand and turns up and either chases somebody, follows somebody, is employed to do something which involves driving like a demon. My thinking was that it should be, all three directors should be very different. They are very varied, which I think is good. The new films aren't really a sequel, they're more of a second season. And the challenge was uh, how to do them and, and raise the bar. With John Wu, uh, we sent him a script originally and he was always thought very highly of him. I've been told that, you know, some people, while they're making a, a commercial or short film, they just uh, I try to make it simple because they, they've never had enough time. But I would like to try the story in uh, so many shots, so many different angles. So uh, I just feel like uh, I'm making a, a feature film. The stunt coordinators were looking at all the films and um, asked them, what are you doing? And they explained. And he sat down with them and kind of watched them all. Then got up and said, we're going to beat them all. Exciting thing for us to hear. Scary thing for the production company to hear. It makes you nervous when you know you've only got six cars. Yeah. But uh, John, John worked with us and we designed you know, some interesting stunts. You know what? <laughs> I've never tried. <laughs> but I must say that I have uh, got a pretty good uh, instinct. All the stunt, all the action sequence, I've got to be uh, involved with the drama. I might have done things a little bit differently. The John John did his way, and now I see it, and I see why he went down that avenue and gone to that. I just they always wanted to see something new, something they have never seen before. We've never seen so many cameras from so many angles. Linda, can you hear this? It's just a good example of the different interpretations directors bring to it. I thought John was perfect for that one, and then uh, Joe Conan is, is a, the new guy in the book. They gave me quite a bit of creative license and freedom to kind of uh, massage it to my taste. Joe's style is incredibly fast paced. A lot of quick cuts, a lot of flashbacks. What I was trying to achieve, I guess, is kind of a contemporary North by Northwest. The forces are arrayed against you. That's significant. Clive is kind of thrust into the middle of this injured passenger that is carrying what could be a uh, time bomb. Just kind of have to follow your director, just follow Joe, and just kind of let him tell me which way he wants me to go with it. You know? Since it's so short, you can stretch that character quite a bit. Millions more? You couldn't do this kind of intensity over an hour and a half or two hours. It would be overbearing. Drive, God damn it, drive! It's a terrific surprise ending. That's all I'm going to tell you. In our show, we have a head-on collision with the Humvee. We have fire chasing the, the, the car down the road. We're blowing up a helicopter. Oh, God, God! It's new. It's pretty. It runs well. It's probably got a nice warranty on it. And here we go and wreck it. Look, this is a great opportunity to do a mini action movie. The devil, you know. It's, it's fun to sort of think about the different actors and ways to do that, but how do you make that unique? Your soul for fame and fortune. For you to be able to sing and dance better than any other human so being. So, James Brown was offering, he was um, offering an additional soul. What I always try to do with, with non actors is get them feeling comfortable in their environment and try and get them not to act but to be themselves. Beat the devil. Goodbye, devil. Thank God. That's brother, man. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of my time is spent trying not to laugh because he makes me laugh. I want to put the audience on crystal meth for eight minutes and get this, this wild rock and roll ride. What I get off on is doing something which stretches me and pushes me into new territory. I mean, Tony's not, he's not only a good director and a, good, and a really terrific shooter, you've got you to gotta get what you want. I think good directing sometimes is is knowing, is knowing when not to say anything. 
Just one of the crowd. <laughs> the ramp launches me in the air and usually it gets me about 16, 17 feet in the air. You just kind of see the world tip upside down. When the fireball goes off, you can't see anything but boiling fire all the way around you. I was going from ultra slow motion during these races to going from what I call 100 frames a second to two frames a second. It takes a special kind of arrogance, James, to march in here, glass half empty. Yeah, they're very integral in both Ticker and in Hostage, but in mine, he's more Martin Sheen than Apocalypse going down this insane river. It's got to be interesting for Clive, too, to sort of keep his character working with so many directors. It'll be eight different directors sort of also adding their interpretation to Clive. I think this idea of these short films, these stories, is super. Because what it does is open the door for a whole bunch of wonderful ideas for directors that would not have an opportunity to do otherwise.